With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that find the sum of two middle terms of the AP. And we are given the following AP. Minus 4 divided by 3, comma, minus 1, comma, minus 2 divided by 3, comma, minus 1 divided by 3, comma, dot, 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 4, and 1 by 3. So, this is the AP that we are given. Now, we don't know the number of terms. So, first of all, what we are going to do is find out the number of terms. Then, we will find out the middle terms. What will be the number of the middle term? And then, we will find out the sum of two middle terms. So, let's first of all find out the number of terms. And for that, we have in the question, we are given the last term of AP as 4 and 1 divided by 3. And we know that formula for last term of AP is A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D is equals to 4 and 1 divided by 3. Now, from the given AP, we can note down the value of a that is first term is minus 4 divided by 3 and the value of d that is common difference is second term that is minus 1 minus first term that is minus 4 divided by 3 so this will give us minus 1 plus 4 divided by 3 which will be equal to after taking lcm we will we will get 4 because 3 is the lcm so four, there will be 3 4 minus 3 will be 1 1 divided by 3 so this is the common difference d is equals to 1 divided by 3 now putting in the values in the in this formula of last term of ap we can find out the value of n so let's do it a is equals to minus 4 divided by 3 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d d is 1 by 3 is equals to this 4 and 1 by 3 will be 13 divided by 3 because 4 will be multiplied by 3 12, 12 plus 1 is 13 and the denominator will remain the same. So, we will get 13 divided by 3. Now, on solving it further, we will get 13 divided by 3 plus 4 divided by 3 is equal to n minus 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 3. So, on taking LCM because 3 will be the LCM, so we will have 17 in the numerator. Here, 1 divided by 3 multiplied by n minus 1. This 3 will get cancelled out by this 3 and we will have n minus 1 is equals to 17. So, n will be 18. So, these are the total number of terms in the AP that is 18. Now, we are supposed to find out the middle terms. So, the middle terms will be, the two middle terms will be n by 2th term and n by 2 plus 1 th term. Now, let's put in the value of n. So, 18 divided by 2th term and 18 divided by 2 plus 1 at term. So, this will give us 9th term of the AP and 10th term of the AP. So, these are the middle terms of the AP. We are supposed to find out the sum of these middle terms. So, let's do it. What we are supposed to find out is A9 plus A10. On solving it, we will get, because we know that formula for n term of AP is A plus n minus 1 into D. So, using that formula, we can write this as A plus 8D and A plus 9D. On solving it, we will get 2A plus 17 d now let's put in the values and the formula that i have used is here is i am writing it in bracket that n at term of ap is a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so n will be 9 so we will get a9 is equals to a plus 8 d when n will be 10 we will get a10 is equals to a plus 9 d now let's solve it putting in the value of a and d we will get 2a plus 17 d so a is equals to minus 4 divided by 3, 2 multiplied by minus 4 divided by 3 plus 17 d. The common difference d is equals to 1 by 3. So, we will get 17 divided by 3. This will give us minus 8 divided by 3 plus 17 divided by 3. 17 minus 8 is 9 divided by 3. 
so this will be equal to 3 so this is the sum of two middle terms of the ap that we were asked in the question so this will be equal to 3 that's all thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today